Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Bobby and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how you can easily create a realistic pointillism effect in Photoshop and how you can easily transform an image like this into one that looks like this. And traditionally pointillism is created by applying lots of dots of paint over a very long period of time, often years. And I'll zoom in so we can get a better look at the effect. As you see it looks like there's dots of paint and to further that effect it looks like the paint is actually rising off of the canvas and that was done by using an emboss effect so um, let's just get started by going over to our new document and first let's open up our layers and right click and then just convert that to a smart object and let's just double click on this name and rename this and I'll just call this boat so once your image is a smart object you'll want to go up to filter pixelate and pointillize and you'll want to make sure the cell size is set to 12 and you'll also want to make sure your background is set to white by default it's white um, that will be important because once you hit OK you'll want to go to your pointillize smart filter double click on this icon here to access your blending mode and then just change your blending mode from normal to darken that will remove any light or white pixels and then just hit OK. Now you want to change your background to black. You can just hit this little arrow here to swap it or double click on your secondary color to change the background color. And then go back up to Filter, Pixelate, and Pointillize. This time let's change our cell size to 9 to add some variation as if we're actually painting this and applying some dots of paint. And then just hit OK. Now you want to select the top pointillize effect because the effects or filters are added on top. So select the top icon to access your top pointillize blending mode. And you'll want to change the mode from normal to lighten. So that will remove any of the black pixels and then just hit OK. And now one more time, but instead, let's just double click on our background image and make this a gray color. And you can do that by selecting the B, which stands for brightness, and just making that 50%, which makes it a neutral gray. Hit OK, and then again, go up to Filter, Pixelate, and Pointillize, and then just change your cell size to 6, and hit OK. And now again, selecting the top Pointillize blending mode icon, you'll want to change the blending mode to either Pin Light, or overlay. Overlay makes the transition between the dots uh, smoother, but it does increase the contrast and the saturation, which we will fix. So let's hit OK. So first to fix the saturation, let's just go to our adjustment layers and select Vibrance. And with our Vibrance selected, let's just hold the Shift key and press down on the down arrow, and that will move it down by 10 increments. You want to make sure your vibrance is set to negative 50 and let's just close that and then go back to our layers panel and select our smart object and then go up to image adjustments and shadows and highlights so now what we want to do is to remove the contrast from the image so by default the shadow amount is 35 percent let's just decrease that to 15 percent so what we're doing here is we are lightening the shadows and now we also want to make the highlights 15%. So we are darkening the highlights. And then you also want to click show more options. So if you want a smoother transition between the dots of paint, you can change the radius of both your shadows and highlights to 100 pixels. And then under our adjustments, let's just make the color zero just to make sure we're not adding any color or saturation to our image. And then just hit OK. So now we can see here under our smart filters, the shadows and the highlights has been added. So now if we zoom in, we can see we have a nice pointillism effect going on. To further this effect, to make it look like the paint is actually coming off of the canvas, let's just add some emboss and some texturing. So to do that, you want to select your Vibrance, and by holding Shift, select your Smart Object, and then select Control or Command C on your keyboard to copy these, and then go up to your Flyout menu in your Layers panel, and select Merge Layers. 
Once these layers are merged, you can just paste those layers back with Command or Control V. And then I'll just drag the merged copy up to the top. And with the merged copy selected, you want to go up to Filter, Stylize, Emboss. And these are the settings I used, an angle of negative 135, a height of 2 pixels, and I cranked the amount up to 500% for the amount. And then just hit OK. And now let's just change the blending mode of our emboss. And let's just change the name of that layer to emboss. Let's change the blending mode to overlay. And now if I zoom in, you can see there's some weird colors going on on the boat here. So to fix that, let's go up to image adjustments and desaturate. And that just gets rid of those weird colors that pop out too much. And now we can change our overlay blending mode to pin light. And now this is still a bit too much. So let's decrease the opacity 50%. Now, just like that, we have a realistic pointillism effect made in Photoshop that looks like there is paint coming off of the canvas. So here is before the, the embossed texturing. And then here is before the smart filters. So we transform this original bland photo into something that looks like a real painting in Photoshop. This technique can be used to add a handcrafted quality to your design as well as add a paint texture to photos or flat illustrations. Some pros to this technique include it's a realistic pointillism effect, meaning the different colors of dots in the design is true to traditional pointillism. And the emboss effect adds a realistic paint texture to your design. As for cons, you do lose some detail in the original image and the emboss layer is a static effect, meaning if you want to redo the emboss effect, you'll need to re-merge all layers and just repeat the process within this video. And that is how you can easily create a realistic pointillism effect in Photoshop.